Call queues are a placeholder for calls to sit waiting to be answered. Call queue can be configured to ring multiple users in a certain order or a parking lot for a call to sit and wait until someone retrieves the call. To navigate to the call queue center, select call queues from the manager portal navigation icons. If the domain has any call queues configured, you will see them displayed here. You have the ability to edit or delete existing call queues. To add a call queue to the organization, click the Add Call Queue button. Name the call queue. Assign the extension number. Note the extension number cannot be changed once the queue has been created. Select the call type for the queue. Round Robin routes callers to the available agent that has been idle the longest. Ring All simultaneously rings all available agents in the queue. Linear Hunt calls agents in a predefined order. Linear Cascade routes calls to groups of available agents in a predefined order. Call Park puts the caller on hold until a user retrieves the call. After selecting the ring type, you can select an available phone number, configure the calls in the queue to be recorded. Enabling Statistic provides information to the call center supervisor, allowing them to run reports. After the queue is created, you will have the option to record a message that will be played every time a call queue agent answers a call from the queue. Clicking Next will take you to the Pre-Queue Options Configuration tab. The Pre-Queue Options are a set of conditions that must be met before the queue will accept the call. If any of these conditions are not met, the call will be forwarded to the destination entered in the Forward If Unavailable field. Enabling Require Agents will configure the queue so that agents must be signed in or the call will be forwarded to the Forward If Unavailable destination. Setting music on hold for queue audio will play music for the caller while they wait. Ring back will have the queue play ringing while the caller waits. Setting require intro music on hold will play the first message in the music on hold directory of the queue to the caller when they enter the queue. Max expected wait allows you to add a cap to how long the hold time can reach for callers. Set a time and the max expected wait time is exceeded new callers entering the queue, the caller will be sent to the destination entered in the forward if unavailable field. Max queue length allows you to set a cap for how many callers the queue can have waiting at one time. If a max queue length is set and a caller attempts to join the queue, it will forward them to the destination entered in the forward if unavailable field. The callback option allows for callers entering the queue to save their place in the queue and receive a call from the system when an agent is available. Forward unavailable fields forward calls to the destination entered if the queue has reached its expected wait time or max queue length limit has been reached. Clicking next will take you to in queue options tab. This tab will change based on the ring type selected. Round robin will display a ring queue timeout which is a time limit that can be set for how long the call will remain in the queue before being forwarded to the destination entered into the forward if unanswered or voicemail box. Agent ring timeout allows you to configure how long each agent in the queue's phone will ring before moving on to the next agent. This needs to be lower than the ring queue timeout. Log agent out on missed call will log an agent out of the queue if the queue sends the agent a call and it goes unanswered. Forward if unanswered allows you to enter a destination for calls that are not answered. Enabling voicemail will create a voicemail box for the queue and allow callers to leave a voicemail if agent ring timeout has been reached. Selecting the ring all type will display only the ring queue timeout as this rings all available agents at the same time so there is no agent ring timeout. If linear hunt is selected, queue ring timeout and agent ring timeout are displayed. Selecting in which order agents ring are set on the edit agent page. Linear cascade will display initial agents group to ring which controls the first group of agents to ring based on their predefined order all agents with the chosen order or lower will ring 
agent group to add after timeout adds an additional group of agents to ring when the agent ring timeout is reached. The queue will ring the first group of agents and add the agents with the chosen order or lower simultaneously. When selecting call park for the type, pre-queue options and in-queue option tabs disappear as call park will just let the caller wait at an extension until someone retrieves the call. Clicking save will create the call queue. After the queue is created, you will see the options to edit agents. On the edit agents page, you can add agents by clicking the add agent button. You will then see the agent phone field. This is where you can select the user's phone you would like to ring. Adding users' phones bypasses their answering rules, so queue calls will ring how they were configured to be rung from the queue. Status online adds the user ready to take queue calls. Offline will add the user, however, they will not be sent calls from the queue. This is useful when you want to assign call center supervisors to a call queue that you want them to manage, however, not take calls from. Wrap time will not send the agent another call from the queue until that threshold has been reached. Simultaneous calls allows you to configure if the agent can receive multiple calls from the queue and how many total calls they can receive at one time. If an agent is being added to multiple queues, queue priority decides which queue will ring the agent when calls are waiting in multiple queues. Request confirmation will inform the agent they are receiving a call from a queue and to press 1 to accept the call. If calls are routed to an off-net number and request confirmation is not enabled, the phone receiving the call's voicemail could answer the call, preventing the call from going to the next agent in the queue. Auto answer will have the call automatically answered by the phone being sent the call. The save agent button will add the agent's phone to the devices that will ring when there is a call in the queue. After adding the agent's devices, you can change any of these options by clicking the edit icon. You can also remove the agent's device by clicking the delete icon. You can configure cues to have custom music on hold. Clicking the edit music on hold will take you to the cues music on hold directory. Here you can add music by selecting the audio file, which must be in a WAV or MP3 format. Name the music on hold file and click upload. The music will be played in a top to bottom or randomized order. Clicking the settings button will allow you to configure the queue with an introductory greeting, a message that is played to every caller before they are connected with an agent. You can upload an introductory greeting or have the system call you to record one. Name the greeting and click save. To reprioritize the music on hold, simply drag and drop the file in order you would like it to be played. You can change any of the configuration options by clicking the name of the queue or the edit icon. To delete a queue, click the delete icon and confirm you would like to delete that queue. 